Alfie, can I say Alfie? Alfie is <laughs> asking, Chicho, do you have a humidor? I used to have a huge humidor. I used to have be able to keep 14 boxes of cigars in there, uh, bigger, more than that, 14 boxes. One time I had 10 boxes of Hoyo de Monterey double Coronas in there. And all it was, again, all it was was see, homemade humidor that a friend of mine made for me. And it was just cedar, wood, planks of cedar in a box about square, this big by this big and this deep. And it was just cedar with a top, right? With a cedar top. And I would put my cigar boxes in there and I would have a gauge, temperature and humidity, humidity gauge and a bowl with a wet sponge in it. And I would close it and that aged the cigars extremely well. Uh, it kept them in pristine condition, like phenomenal condition. And it also aged them, right? I really didn't have to do anything else and just keep the sponge wet. And depending on the humidity gauge, I would either increase the water on the sponge or decrease the water on the sponge or let it just dry out a little bit, right? Um, I don't have that box anymore. And it's it was cheap, right? Just cedar, back then it was cheap. Wood was cheap back then. I don't know what it is now. I'm, I'm thinking about if I start getting more into cigars, which is basically one of the reasons... Uh, uh, because I can't go to the comic book store and buy cigars, uh, buy comic books, right? So I've taken a little bit of my entertainment money, I guess, and spending it on cigars now, right? It is what it is. I'm going to go to garage sales. So if you want to have a humidor that works perfectly, that I had for 10, 10 more than that, 15 years, at least 15 years, that was my humidor. That I had with me wherever I moved to that came with me and had cigars in there right so best humidor I've ever seen I've ever had was just cedar planks with a temperature humidity gauge and a bowl with a wet sponge okay uh, so if you're into having a cigar supply at home that's phenomenal it works great 